Hello, thank you for watching. The DDS VFO, the sequel. This is not where I wanted to be setting today. So the guy sent me a new DDS VFO. What the hell is this? Clearly this board is not this board. I don't even know what to do here. I completely was not expecting this. Clearly I would say that this board is the same as this board. However, the surrounding board is entirely different. That's going to put me in a very awkward position because I know where all the connections are on this board. This board here clearly needs a microscope. Man, this is messing me all up. Because number one, I can't see anything on this. I mean, even with a magnifying glass, I really can't. This must be the oscillator here to go to the oscillator board. This must be to the display. Holy shit. I'm glad I got 6,000 candle power of LED bulbs over my head right now that are burning my eyeballs out. Because... If I don't go blind through this episode, or if I'm not already blind, I will be after trying to wire this up. This here seems to say encoder. This looks like it's the clarifier controls, which were over here in this area. This block here on the very end, I can't even read that. Not even, uh, looks like it might be Roger Beep something else on the very end terminal I can't read looks like it might say SCL but the jumper says lock down here on the board so the jumper is off the side there I don't know what that is now it looks like the SSB switches and everything or they brought them over here on the corner that I can see kind of sort of without a magnifying glass USB CW AM and FM it still has two standoff points chassis ground like the other one was that's probably the 8 volt regulator right there but man this is you want to talk about reinventing the wheel you might as well just have just have thrown a a pile of spaghetti in front of me because really that's the effect here. I'm I'm betting this is the 8 volt regulator which is the same as this regulator here. Well, now we'll say this. The fact that this is a smaller board does make it more attractive for me because I'm kind of out of space. I was going to shield this board is what I was going to try to do. Circumstances just aren't optimal space-wise for shielding this entire board. Now this board here might work better to shield this one. Not that that's even the fix for anything, but I'm just kind of grasping at straws on this whole DDS buzz problem. He didn't give me any indication that the boards had changed. It's a little bit wider. Looks like that Dimension that way is very close to what the original was. Definitely gives me more, more room to put it in there. All the wires kind of come out one side here, which is kind of a bonus. The board would have to be put this direction. Um, 0.96 inch white. So it doesn't look like you could really make any mistakes on that. So I would say it's probably safe to assume that he sent me a white LED or an OLED display this time, which I'm fanatical about, I really am. Now it's labeled 8 to 13 volts over here on the edge of the board. There's a path down there right beside that electrolytic cap. That is probably essentially the same point as the B-plus connection here on the old board. The layout of it is better. The size is better. You know, I was planning on rewiring all this anyway and just starting from scratch on this project. You know, from that aspect, I guess it doesn't matter that the board is entirely different because if I was planning on doing that anyway... Okay, I thought this was a damn full-way bridge rectifier. 
when I was looking at this, and I thought, well, what did they do with the relay? You know, they surely couldn't have done without the relay. It almost kind of gives me the impression of a reed relay. But, yeah, when I first looked at that, I, th I thought it was a bridge rectifier. I really wanted the white display for this radio. But since I already had to take out the red bezel to make the blue display go in, the blue display was the one they sent me in error. I don't think I want to end up putting the white display in this radio after all that I've been through. This OLED blue is actually not so bad, so I think I'll leave that in. I do like the fact that they put the uh, OLED display in that little plastic container there because those things are pretty fragile. That board is a little bit different too than the other board that, that I put in there. You can tell the chips are smaller on it and the board layout's different. Hopefully the dimensions are exactly the same. You know, I just wish the guy would have said to me, hey, the board's going to be different and I'm going to send you. These holes are very, very small. I'm going to have to check these holes to see what size they are. That may be an issue. That was an issue that I ran into on this board. I had to enlarge all the holes. But on this board, that wouldn't be advisable to do that because they're so small. I mean, in the way that board is plated through, yeah, you can't enlarge them. So I may have to go buy wire. He definitely covered the bases, sent me the display and the new board. So, you know, I'm happy about that. You know, one thing you could do, but I mean, this would be an absolute disaster, would be to take this off and replace this board with that board there because the issue with this is the programming but to do that would be an absolute suicide mission well you know it is what it is just start from scratch and do a whole pretty much a whole new install on it you know I have contemplated mounting that board up here you know, even before I got that one there, I was thinking about taking the board and putting it up here on top. And the reason I was thinking of doing that is not because I thought it was more ideal, but because I thought if I put it up on top, I could shield this whole entire board a little bit easier on top than I can with it on the bottom. But if that board is smaller, I can definitely shield that board easier. You know, like I said, whether or not it needs to be shielded, that's debatable. But I'm just kind of grasping at straws about the buzzing problem. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll get this in and the thing won't buzz. I mean, you, you just don't know. So anyway, hey, it's going to take me a bit longer than I thought. But uh, stick with me and uh, we'll, see if, uh, we'll see if it works this time. Hey, thanks for watching. You take care and have a great day.